Comic Wednesday. Comic Wednesday. We'll We're be right today. back. Yeah. Well, good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. What do we wake up? I'm Pastor Jason. I'm Pastor Scott. And uh, we've got a morning scripture. We're going to pray every day. We're going to have fun. I'm so glad you're here. I made it. Yeah. I'm, glad. I'm so Ever glad you're me. here. I'm here again two weeks in a row. Woo! It's a record. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! It's Comment Wednesday, so uh, we got some great comments from we you guys. We had some excellent ones. Yep. Uh, Rachel Rich said uh, she loves Sunday. She's never seen it so packed before, and that's true. It's as big as we've been. Like, it we had was... chairs in the foyer. Yeah, the 11 o'clock service was wall-to-wall. Well, your sir, all the services were just packed. Well, even the 915 was, was packed, but at 11, they set up 150 chairs in the foyer and opened the doors and turned the sound down out there so we could right, watch yeah. the service from there. So, it's good. Thank you all. Yeah. We had good. We got them together. We're just growing, and everything's going great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, Chevy Chase said, thank you, Pastor Jason. <laughs> I just seen this, and I had a bad day yesterday, but your message helped give hope for today and tomorrow. Thank you. Chevy is watching, and I love Fletch. I loved you. Yeah, I Dan, Dan Aykroyd, his buddy, also. Are was, they were watching, too? Yeah, yeah, they love the show. We're reaching Hollywood now. Yeah, it's important. Matthew Brown said, send Scott to Holland, Michigan, and say <laughs> you all don't like the Dutch. So I bought him a ticket, because I really want to see what happens when I send him to, to, I to know. Holland. <laughs> I'll pay for that airfare. I love the Dutch. I I'm going to make him wear his shirt that says, I hate the Dutch. I don't have a shirt that says, I hate the Dutch. I'm going like to buy Dutch. it. I love the Dutch. I'm going to buy one. Because uh, I want you to wear it. What was that from? Was I Michigan. doing a movie quote? Yeah, you're saying there's oh, three two, things three, I don't two like. Two things and I don't like. Yeah. yeah, people are intolerant of others and the Dutch. <laughs> It's just intolerant of others. Wait, I didn't get the joke last week. I know you did. I just now got it. Because that's intolerant of others. That's exactly what <laughs> it is. We had, uh, oh, dang it, the, the name's on the other page. Uh, Richard, Richard White had said that uh, he was wondering what the stuff back there behind all the goodies were. Yeah. And where the ladder goes. Where the ladder goes. The ladder just is so that I can reach the books that the staff puts on the second shelf. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. I just you can't, can't, I can't get the books. Gotta, I got a little ladder. For the second shelf, though. I can't get the books. I got to get wisdom up there. <laughs> uh, Rick Miranda said, not that I'm noticing, but Pasha Kelly and Pasha Jeff had some max views. They did. They owned yeah. it. Yeah. I don't know... I don't know what we're and saying. Then, and then somewhere later, someone said, I did miss Pesher Scott. <laughs> Good. So they, they like me. Yeah. They, they hit that. Yeah. Uh, Dennis Craven said, remember this Saturday show? And they had it up. So we had, I, went and, I went and looked at it. It's uh, Dr. Goes Ape is the episode. What was it called? Uh, oh, I forgot uh, now. I should have wrote it down because I wrote Dr. Goes Ape. And then we don't remember the name. Anyway, we're going to get the name here in a second. The reason I don't remember it was it was from 1970 to 71. So it was pre-Scotty watching cartoons. Oh, okay. It was just a couple Lance of years. Lancelot Link. Lancelot Link. Okay. And it was a monkey. <laughs> Man, we're going deep. It was real deep. Okay, Catherine Reed wrote, I feel your house pain. Because your house... For the love of all that's good and holy. Yeah, yeah. She said they've been trying to close for weeks. Uh, they just found out it's going to be two more weeks. So uh, let's all be praying for Catherine Reed for a quick close. Right? No more delay. Well, well, Not for you. Yeah, but I was for like, Catherine. <laughs> let's for join Catherine. hands together and pray. And but we want all of me the, out. We want all of the. I don't want to be no, in no, that. We want all of the Dutch to pray for you. No, the Dutch. That's no. a principle. Of, that's a principle. Christ said, if someone doesn't if like my phone you, rings, if someone doesn't like you, you pray for them. If my phone rings and my house is on fire because of the Dutch, <laughs> no, they're now, gonna pray good prayers for now you. Now listen, Amy Nair, this is deep. Okay. Just really and take a moment, soak this up. Three plus. That's what she wrote. Wait, I saying, don't know. I've been contemplating what that means. We probably asked a question. I need to know. And Everybody probably, guess on the comments. What does that mean? It might be like out of five, she gave us a three. <laughs> Which is not bad. That's above no, average. No, no, no. We got three thumbs down the other week. Wow. It's going to probably... That, that's, those are badges of honor. Three. No, it's going to go up. I mean, the, the downs <laughs> will go up. Not. not that I'm believing for it, but that's just more. a badge of honor. It's good. Right. You start right. preaching the preaching the gospel to the world, people are going to come against it. I thought it. D, D had hit it three times. Normal. They didn't like Jesus. We're not Jesus, but he's in us. He is. Tony Williams. Good morning, pastors. What an awesome message. He went on to say, look at Pastor Jason showing off his, and then he put a thing on the muscles this morning. Oh. I wasn't showing off my... Well, you, you, you guys see the time? I don't know if you've yeah, noticed that. Yeah, my belt's a little tight. <laughs> I wasn't showing off. We used to I always just... do that. It was so funny because we'd all be in, in the weights in high school, and then all, uh, like a girl go by, and everyone all of a sudden was like, oh my God! And they're all... <laughs> 
<laughs> just like the girl goes by and they're flexing. Yeah, we're all flexing the belt and everything else. You know where the gym is? Girl blogger said, I lo- and I loved it. Baby steps. What about Bob? And then did the I need, I need, I need me. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Doctor Leo Marvin. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> anyway, we do the uh, R- Raymond and Enrique uh, or Ra- R- Ramon. Or how do we say it? You say Ray- Raymond, don't you? I think I, I think do. It's Ramon, though. And I want to mention, he's, he comments every day. I wonder if I he's ever Ramon. missed a day. No, I don't think so. I don't think he's missed Listen a day. Listen to this. My, my fiance and I want to buy two cups, and we want to get married. That, okay. I, I like that. I do, too. And they said they want Living Word to marry and Pastor Jay. So I would love to do it as long as it works out on my schedule. I totally do. I love that. What if we did the marriage, though, on Wake Up? I would love a Wake we Up marriage. We Skype them in, like on the, yeah. on, on the screen here. Okay. And then we marry them. Live. I love it. Done. On Wake Up. Or they come out and be on the show. That could be cool, too. And we do a wedding episode. I don't know if they'd be up for We could teach about it. It'd be fun. It'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're throwing it out there. All right. Your message this weekend was so good. Easter message. You hit it. We had a great time. It was so good. Yeah, God was so And great. so you were in uh, John 3. Yeah. I'm going to read 3 1 today's today's scripture. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Yeah, and, and, and uh, this Nicodemus guy, he approaches Jesus in the night. And the reason he would have gone at night is because he's, he's a Pharisee. Yeah. And he couldn't sleep that night. Right. Like both, I think. Like I he think was compelled. Both. Like he was just restless. Like, oh, I got to get the answer. Because to go bug Jesus at night, we don't see a lot of this in the Bible. No. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing? You up? <laughs> but he... Being part of the Pharisees, the Pharisees are the one of the groups of people that really hated Jesus. They hated him. Like wanted him Though dead. No, they're supposed to be looking for him. He's coming. Wanted him dead. Yes. We're certain that he was not the Messiah. Right. And that he, he was a blasphemous And they battled man. all the time. Yeah, this was this, this Jesus' enemy. Right. Visiting Which is, him at night. Because it was religion. He was just battling the religion of the day. Yeah. And the, the thing about the Pharisees is, is they were all about also trying to get people into God's kingdom. Yeah. That was their right. their whole premise. And, but they were operating under that old covenant. Mm-hmm. And so that's what all of his friends, all of the voices, everyone would have been like, that's not the Messiah. That's not the Messiah. Everybody around him would have right. been saying. And I thought uh, it really ties in with what you were preaching this weekend too, is that um, we get around all the, all the voices that are telling us, well, that's not the Messiah. No, that's not how. That's not how the world came about. There is no God. There is no. Let me tell you what it is. You're a junior high teacher. You're your science. Every science teacher you've had kids around. I mean, everywhere you go, then you get into co- college is like a million times worse. Yeah. Every class, it's oh, all. Yeah. Everyone is debatable. Even well, bring my, it up. I remember my I'm biology like, teacher on the very first day of class in ASU just made the announcement: If you believe in God, you can just leave this classroom right now because there is no God. And it was just like, what? what's what? the point of, t- of saying that? We had a religion teacher in, at MCC, and it's religion. So it's all religions. So he spent literally all 17 weeks on Zen, whatever. He did that. And what he had to do, and he goes, all right, well, we have to do this. So we have to do Christian too. So today we're just going to read the story of Jonah. So he literally just read the story of Jonah. That was it. That's that was all it. you get out of Christianity. But everything Which else is the was, number one faith one of the in the world. things he told me, though, he goes... He said this, like one of the first few days of class, he goes, I've trained myself in Zen to never remember anything that happened in the past. I only look forward. So it was, it just worked out. God works out stuff for me. So I came in, I was late two days in a row. And he goes, you were late yesterday also. And I go, you don't remember that. (laughs) (laughs) You did not say that. I did not tell him that. I said, you don't remember that because you don't remember anything backwards. And he was just, he had no words. Well, you really bring up a good point, though, is, is that we, 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 everybody is at some level a hypocrite. The, Pharisee, <laughs> the Pharisees themselves were trying to hold everyone to a standard, and Jesus was like, look, you don't even make that standard. You don't make the standard. Nobody makes the standard. Jesus was like, unless your, this is what he said in, in Matthew chapter 5, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees, you'll never make it into the kingdom of God. Oh, wow. Which is like saying none of the Pharisees are getting in. No one making it. Right? You have to exceed them. And, they, and then he said later on, but seek first the kingdom of God and God's and righteousness, righteousness. His right. righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. So his righteousness comes so simply through believing in Christ. So we're going to talk about that it's a good next. Pic- uh, on Friday, we're going to talk about John chapter 3 and verse 14. But it's 14. a really good picture of where Nicodemus had gone 
to get the information. Because I believe that inside of everyone, you find this, even atheists and stuff, they struggle and they're, 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 there's a struggle in them because we were designed to love our creator. Yeah, it's hard to walk around outside and not so, go, okay, this is not an accident. Where do you get your answers? You get your answers in the house. Jesus died for the church. Right. Right. This is where you this is where you go to get the answers on you know, uh, depression. This is where you get your answers on because the world is telling you how to deal with depression. Right. But it doesn't work. There's a million voices around us. Like right. like we've the whole world is surrounding us with people who think they know all the truths. They right. think they know about God. They think they know this about This is what you gotta do. You got your Uncle Otto telling you how to invest and he ain't got no money. So <laughs> It's this really this idea right. of the voice of the Pharisees. Right. And what I love about Nicodemus is he was a guy, he was a free thinker. He was like, you know what? This is what everyone else is saying. I'm going to go find out for myself. Right. I'm going to go to the source. I'm going to go to the right voice. Right. Right. This Jesus guy, man, he's raising the dead. People are getting <laughs> up. I can't deny. He goes to him and he says, like, we can't deny that you're a teacher sent from God. I just, we can't deny it. That's yeah, what he yeah. said. We, we can't, it can't be stopped. So, uh, and then he asks the question and Jesus gives him that answer. Right for eternal life. you got to be born again. So here's the thing that he's seeing. He's seeing results. Yeah. Right? You, you look at mom and dad's life and stuff, and you go, wow, they got results. They got results. There's something about that is different than a lot of people's lives. What's the difference? And you go to where the results are in life. Establishing your life on the Word of God. Amen. we got to pray over their Christ, day. Believing. Yeah. It really, really, it came down to the very simple thing. Very simple truth. We could just leave you with one simple truth today. Turn to Jesus, believe what he says. And that's what Nicodemus got. That's what he got. He yeah. pulled out of the whole thing. He did. He did. He was part of the, the, the two who buried Jesus, put right. him in the tomb. Powerful thing. We'll talk more about that on Friday. Lord, I just thank you and praise you, Lord, for everyone that's watching this. And ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that we would continue to strive and, and look to your voice in our life and not the voices of everyone around us, not the voices of hate and division and judgment, but, Lord, your voice to love, to forgive, that, Father God, we would follow you, that we would turn to Jesus, and we would believe what he says. Be our strength this morning and throughout our day. Give us a great day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Give us thumbs up. Yep, like it. Like share it. it, share it, put it out there. And uh, don't forget, summer camp. If you got youths, teenagers, oh. or kids, do what our parents did. Never, ask, Mom and Dad never asked me if I wanted to go to camp. Hey, I woke go. up, My bag and I was pack. in camp. <laughs> We're going to be there. The whole, a lot of the it leadership is. of the church is going up there because the we, we biggest, want to invest in your kids. But one of the biggest um, points, I mean, I can remember every camp I ever went to. Yeah. I didn't want to go to a bunch of camps, but every camp, there was something that happened here. Oh, my God. It was something you can't put your, you can't, you didn't get it at church. Mm -hmm. Not the church isn't great, but there was something special that happened. Well, you got away camp. from the, the noise of the, the city, the noise of All our the people, electronics. Nicod everything the Nicodemus was dealing with. You got away from the noise in the night. And yeah. Yeah. To camp. Yeah. It's and, so true. Somebody uh, asked this week, how do we get the uh, coffee cup? Oh, well, yeah. And I guess if you've been going to wakeuptv.tv to get a coffee <laughs> cup, it just says out of stock. <laughs> we, we changed. So we just want you to go it's there changed today. Now. No, it's changed today now. Today it won't say out of stock. It and just, it says 10 to $18. It's really weird. Yeah, because you, you bid on it. Like whatever, whatever. <laughs> what do you want to pay? It's whatever we want to charge you. Yeah. No, no, no. It means two for 18. Oh, I see. And one for 10. Okay. We should be, yeah, two for 18, yeah, 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 two for 18, one for 10. And so get your wake up uh, mugs and then send some pics in, put it on. I don't know if you, can you put pics on? Let's put it on the YouTube or Facebook. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see you yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, Instagram your coffee cup. For sure. We'll see you tomorrow. We serve a God who gives us a whole book full of people who faced impossible things. And then God gave them the strength to overcome. That our Jesus has, he, he, if we'll let him, he'll come and live in us. And he'll be the strength that we need to not quit. And he'll be the victory that we need when it looks like there's defeat. We can turn to our Savior and our Lord who said it is finished and won it all. He conquered death. He conquered sin. He conquered your shame, your guilt. He conquered our lack of confidence and courage. He conquered our uh, anything, sickness, the debt that we have, he conquered. The things that tie us and shackle us. The things that try and control us, whether it's fear or addiction, he beat it all.